Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I want to share with you the top 10 Japanese food to boost your immune system. We are all in the middle of the crisis and we can't see when it's ending. What we can do is stay at home and stay healthy. Japan seems to be holding on the edge of the worst case of scenario. Some people guess it about BCG vaccination? Some people think it about our diet. People say food is medicine, and I believe that too. I can't say it is right or not, but I think I should share the information that might be your help, especially for you, Japanese food lovers. Let's get started. Garlic and ginger. Garlic is a common ingredient in every kitchen. Garlic is considered as number one food that energizes your body in Japan. Notably, raw garlic has a strong antibacterial effect even if you take a tiny amount. It is too strong to eat raw, it might damage your stomach. So take it no more than a tiny amount. Cooked garlic has health benefits as well, improving your blood circulation. And lower your blood pressure. Ginger is also an indispensable ingredient in our kitchen. Gingero, the bioactive substance in fresh ginger, can help lower the risks of infections. Consistent taking of garlic and ginger k e e p you away from the disease. Next, miso. Miso improves your gut condition. By consuming fermented food like miso, You are adding beneficial bacteria and enzymes to your gut bacteria and enhancing the immune system. And miso is a good source of copper, magnesium, vitamin K, proteins, and zinc. Some people asked me that boiling water might kill beneficial enzymes in miso. The miso is frozen, and if you pour boiling water, the temperature of the soup. Is not going higher than the 80 degrees Celsius and it won't kill good properties. And you can still take a health benefit from miso. Natto. This traditional fermented soybean has a unique and sticky consistency and strong smell. It's incredibly nutritious and has various health benefits, which range from stronger bones. To a healthier heart and immune system. It is rich in probiotics and contributes to healthy gut flora. Healthy gut flora helps prevent the growth of harmful bacteria and may even boost your production of natural antibodies. Moreover, probiotics further reduce the risks of the infection and may help you recover faster if you do get sick. Umeboshi, high in citric acid, fatigue prevention, and promotion of a sound immune system. Ume helps to kill harmful bacteria found in the digestive system and preventing them from multiplying. Here is a traditional umeboshi tea to take when we are tired or feeling not good. Put one umeboshi in a mug, pour hojicha, which is Roasted green tea, you can use regular green tea as well, and loosen the umeboshi with your chopsticks to release the beneficial properties to the tea. Much better than the energy drink that contains caffeine and sugar. Seaweed. There are various types of seaweed available in Japan. This seaweed can be consumed fresh or dried. We eat kombu kelp and wakame and nori almost every day and eat some other kinds of seaweed. Seaweed contains a wide variety of vitamins and minerals such as magnesium and iron. Especially, fukoidan, a slippery property of seaweed contained in kelp, stimulates an immune reaction. s There is a report that shows the mortality rate was significantly lower in 1980s of the Spanish flu pandemic 
in the area where consume seaweed more than the average. So I would like you to encourage to eat more seaweed. I put the link in the description box below about the report. Kabocha. Kabocha squash is my all time favorite vegetables. It contains beta carotene and xanthophyll. These two kinds of carotene will boost immunity even more strongly and expect it to prevent lung cancer. You can choose butternut squash instead. I will show you how to make easy kabocha oyaki at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Egg. Egg have gotten a bad reputation because the yolks are high in cholesterol, but the yolks are also a rich and great source of protein which can help immune related problems. Zinc and vitamin A, B12 and selenium in eggs are key to keeping the immune system healthy. Some vitamins and minerals in eggs help promote healthy skin and prevent the breakdown of body tissues. Sesame seeds. These fragrant tiny little seeds are our favorite. We like to sprinkle for the finishing touch of the dishes for literally anything. The nutty flavor is so tempting. Sesame seeds may fight inflammation. Plant compounds and vitamin E in sesame seeds function as antioxidant which combat oxidative stress in your body. And also, sesame seeds are a good source of several nutrients that are important for immune system function including zinc, selenium, copper, iron, vitamin B6 and vitamin E. Green tea. Green tea are rich in antioxidant called polyphenols. Polyphenols are efficient infection fighters. They protect the body against the viruses, infections, and sickness. Japanese people have long loved green tea for its relaxing aroma, but now we realize how it contributes to our health. Another component of green tea is l theanine that relaxes our stresses under the circumstances. Last but not least, mandarin orange. Let me introduce health benefit of the mandarin orange. Vitamin C in mandarin orange is critical in preventing cold and is vital to the proper functioning of healthy immune system. Alright, that's it for the class. Here comes a fun part. Let me show you an easy recipe with kabocha and flour. Do you have all-purpose flour in your pantry? If so, let's do this together. First, in a medium-sized bowl, add in flour and a pinch of salt. Prepare a lukewarm water and add in a teaspoon of sesame oil. Pour in the sesame oil water in three stages. Sprinkle the water evenly into the all-purpose flour. Use your chopsticks and make it into a dough. Cover with a plastic wrap and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the kabocha squash filling. Add in 1 tablespoon of butter and half a teaspoon of soy sauce. Cook in microwave until soft. Mash it to your liking. Set aside until used. After 30 minutes, the dough should look like this. It is a little bit sticky but stretches very easily. In a small plate, prepare a vegetable oil to prevent from sticking. Take one dough onto your palm and spread into 7 to 6 cm in diameter. Place the kabocha filling on top and wrap it up with, a, with the dough as if sliding up the side of the filling. It looks not easy, but it is easy. The dough is very elastic and stretches easily right on top. And pinch to seal the end and shape into a disc. I prepared other fillings 
and I will show you in the next video. In the frying pan, you don't have to oil the surface. Cook on medium with the lid on. Cook 3 minutes on both sides, and there you have your kabocha oyaki. This is good for your breakfast and snack, or even a lunch. You can freeze it for a couple of months, and you can enjoy at any time. I hope the recipe and the information is helpful for you, and I want you to stay at home and stay healthy. We can get through this together. Share the video with your friends and families if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious Japanese recipes and useful information. Thanks for watching and take care, and I will see you soon. Bye!